There has been quite a few Rocket League pros retiring lately. Squishy earlier this year, Shasta and Arsenal, and just recently AJ also announced he's no longer competing. All of these players are still very good at the game, but I guess with the uncertainty of the future of this game and how competitive it's getting, they decided it's best to focus on other things like content. Being retired for quite some time myself, I invited AJ to join me in some games and we actually ran into Squishy as well. We nearly had an entire game of retired players at the highest level in top 100. So hope you guys enjoy, let's get right into it. Ooh, we got Squishy and Plexi. Plexi was a uh, top, I think 128 uh, last last season, which is why he has the uh, the title. Looks like Swish is going to get that boost. I'm going to back off here. So yeah, they added this new title, which is nice. I'm going to try and go for the early challenge, maybe. Should be a save from AJ. He's going to be stuck in the net, though, so I will cover for him on this turn. Nice. Should be good. We'll probably pop this up. It's going to be squishy to follow this, but I need boost right now. Good follow up. I'm trying to scare Plexi here. I'm going to fake this. Pop it up. Plexi's going to have this. What I'm hoping to do is grab his corner boost. Even if he gets a double here, it's not going to be that good. Nice block from AJ. I backed off there just in case he got an extra touch. But it looks like, looks like I have space here now. Good. Good follow up. AJ gets that mid boost. So Squishy should be pretty low here. And he has full control. I'm trying to get Squishy on his way out. Good follow up. Try and block his early clear. And now AJ tries with zero boost. Probably going to be an open net here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I thought he had maybe more to cover that mid bounce back forward. Uh, back to mid. Yeah. He, oh, he got bumped. I see. I just saw him spin out there. That makes a lot more sense. All right. Clean win. Trump pop this down. But Switch is going to cover it. Wow. Nice try the bump. Oh, Squishy covers for him. Nice. I'm going to try and get Squishy. Actually, he missed the boost. I could have grabbed that. This could be still a good chance for us, though. Nice follow-up and nice finish. Yeah, fake the fake the follow-up. I didn't need to touch that. It's going to bounce out mid for us. Pretty solid chance. I'm going to try and go close here off this 50. Goes for the fake. Hit this to the left side. It's kind of awkward for him, but he can probably catch it and, and control. No boost grab, though. This back corner will be there for him. I'll let him try and take this. There you go. I don't need to make the touch, because if I make any touch, it's actually going to go back to Squishy. That was not what I expected. I tried to backflip to recover for it. No problem. I'm trying to get this back corner. Good touch over. Not exactly the touch I wanted. That's bad. I could have followed that a lot, a lot easier. I just didn't want to bump him on the way out. I pinch it across. No problem. Should be control for AJ2. Really good first touch because it keeps control for this extra touch across. And I kind of messed that up, but shouldn't be dangerous. I like that we're using all the space there. If I can go back corner while he's staying with the ball. Do get it around him. And now Plexi's out of the game. Oh, that kind of worked out for, for him because he's actually going to take the boost. My bad on bumping. I can't follow this. That's going to be a goal. Oh, shoot. I thought he was going to try to stay with it. He ended up trying to like go for the bump, but I can't follow him in that situation because I... Yeah, I thought he was staying with it. I bumped him forward. And then I tried to turn around early and unfortunately also missed the boost because of that. I think he still could have recovered it maybe and stayed with the ball. I can't cover him here on this, but he can maybe go for it. It's good. Should be all right for me. Over one place you should have this though. Let me squishy for a shot. Maybe a follow up for AJ in mid here. I'm just gonna stay close. That's kind of awkward. This bounce is not great for me. He misses. I can't follow that. They do both jump, though, so this actually could be good for us. Nice follow-up. I'm going to fake it. Squishy to jump for this. And I was waiting for him to go for a touch off the side. Whoa! Around him. See Plexi panicking here. 
and then top right. <laughs> That's so confusing for them that they really can't follow up any of those because we're so close together. But that was a really good, really good one-two play from us. Now, I'm gonna hit this around Squishy. He's gonna try and pop this out. And actually a really quick follow-up from AJ, but Squishy still blocks it. Okay, a little spooky. Hit this down for AJ. This should be a follow-up. Good chance. Plexi's up. It's past him. And the 50. Just get a good powerful shot. Anywhere near the crossbar would have worked. More to the left side though, because I think Plexi was in a better spot to recover for the for the next save. Yeah, you can see he was ready to jump up for a double jump. As long as it's on the left side there, a little bit off that recovery. Squishy recovered a little bit further. That's why I made that choice to go a little bit further. I can't really shoot this. I'm actually gonna go for the corner instead. I let it to the corner. That way he has to go for an awkward catch. Should be a chance for AJ, maybe? Take this corner boost from him. I did get the boost. I should have stayed with this here. Probably going to be turn on this. With 17 seconds left, I really just want to recover for boost and hope that AJ doesn't really know if our bump is over, I think. Don't want to be too overcommitted. I'm going to try and stay with the control here. A really good bump. And really good save from AJ. I still had it, even though he was getting bumped, but that was really good recovery. So pretty good first game. Pretty close. At this point at the high level, it's really, really you know, dangerous in twos. There's always going to be possessions giving over to the other team, and, and you're going to be in situations where you have to defend in 1v2s. There's definitely going to be a harder game here because we have Squishy and Zanil now. So let's see if we can still pull out the win. The 50. He might get the boost. He, he tried to decide to go for the ball instead to try and keep it away from uh, Squishy, but this shouldn't be a dangerous play off the ball here. And I think Zanil knows that, so I'm not really trying to fully commit. Around him here. Left the boost for my teammate. Pinch across. Should be awkward. It's two of them. He might go for a double off the sidewall here. I'm trying to not get demoed. As I say that, I got demoed. I got the boost, which is huge. So I can go for this now. I do get the win, and I get the boost here. Wish he might play that up. Now, Zanil is up there somewhere. I'm going to try and stay with this. Oh, boy. I didn't get the boost. That's going to be really tough for me because I just used all of my boost. This should be good. If AJ can stall here for me, I mean, that's that's good enough. I'll let him to stay with this. Um, then I can get the corner and, and sort of follow him up. Yeah, they do boom it across. This is just boomer ball. Not really keeping possession at all. So I will try to stay with this. That should still work for us. It's a little scary, though, because that touch could go... I'm going to fake this. It's a cross. Good boost deal. Good try on that touch. Off the wall. That might just go directly in if I can get it. Let's go. Huge. That that bounce is always so potent because it no one really expects it to bounce so strongly back in. If you hit that, that ramp, it just bounces up so nicely for you. Really good cut for me. Really good cut from AJ as well beforehand. Let's see if we can go uh, for a fake here. Good try. Zanil does get the demo, but I try to go for that late flick where it kind of doesn't uh, it doesn't bounce. Great try on the shot. I'm gonna try and go for 50. Good 50 as well. Get the back corner and Zanil now, now Zanil's gonna be alone for a while here, so I think AJ will try to turn on this on himself uh, for himself. Good. Just trying to force him to do something. Hopefully I can steal this back corner while he cuts it. Really good cut. It's off corner. Maybe I can shoot this. Off backboard. I got their boost as well. Not the greatest shot. This could be dangerous for us. Do get this and I can't get the boost. So I'm just going to try and cut this in a second. There we go. So I'm going to be low. I hope, hope AJ knows that and he plays a little patiently. Really good touch off the wall. 
Oh, my bad. I thought he was going to leave that for me, but that boost isn't going to be there for him. So I'm going to try and sit in front of the ball. I, I saw the flip reset come through. But AJ, oh. I'm going to try and take this back corner from Zanil. A lot of twos is just boost starving and just playing off of what they can and can't do with the ball. I'm going to fake this. 50. Now Zanil's going to have that boost, but I'm going to try and get in the front of this. Let's try and stay close. I better rush it. Should be a bump here, and I maybe get the boost. And I'm hoping that Zanil's gonna run out of boost and get bumped here, but it didn't work. It's gonna back off. We do have the lead still. There we go. Try and stay with this here. Look off the backboard. Maybe a shot. Nice, good finish. Try to get that flip reset over both of them. They were both kind of defending in an awkward spot. I knew if I got it over the backboard, they might both take the bait. Because one of those situations where they're both trying to defend in a spot where the timing isn't great for either of them, so they might both awkwardly go. Especially without comms, they won't call who's going for that. And you can take advantage. That's why I think comms is super important, especially in 2v2. It's one of the fastest paced game modes, even faster in my opinion than threes. Might just be straight in. All right. But yeah, it's, it's really difficult at the highest level. You have to make micromanage, like micromanage your boost, micromanage where all the players on the field are, uh, all the decisions being made very, very quickly. I think AJ's gonna try and get that corner boost, maybe even shoot. Doesn't quite get it. I can't recover for this, so it's gonna be Zanil to, to squishy here. Off backward though. Nice. Can't follow this up, but Zanil might be out of the game. It might just be straight in. It is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Somehow this game went smoother. I uh, don't understand how that works. And Zanil by, by no means is... Uh, he's a very good player. He's a very good player. So I, I, I'm surprised how well this is going. Now, he didn't get squishy again, but I did want to say that he, I'm surprised like how, at how much he's still grinding because he did retire from pro. And he's done a couple RLCS runs and stuff like that, but it's good to see that he's still like trying to stay somewhat com competitive. There's a lot of pros that kind of retire and then after the fact um, kind of leave the competitive side holy maybe a pass to me here he's gonna get the boost first that's fine then i can back left here sometimes forcing passing plays isn't the best idea so it's good of him just to play the the time and space why do i do that like i know he's diving like that and i still just let him do it i nice save I can go for a bump just to force him. Good demo. It's a good 50 as well. It's a little scary for me to go, but I kind of expected it to be some sort of pinch play. Ooh, get that. What they missed? What is happening? And why is it working? I just bumped him too. This is a super messy game so far. Really good flip reset chance. Nice shot. Really, really messy, but we do get the goal in the end. It's already been a minute of gameplay too. I, 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 I feel like, oh my God, I've only got 10 points too. <laughs> I will say my 10 points has been very valuable. Okay. 50 across should be AJ. See, I'm just forcing 50-50s into a spot where he can go for the follow-up. Now, this is a little awkward. I'm going to put it hit to the side. I'm hoping that, that corner spawns. It doesn't quite. Free ball for me, though. I get behind him. Try to go beyond the ball there to get a bump if he went a little bit faster, but he kind of delayed his approach. No, I should have went bottom right instead of just going off the backboard when I hit that back to him. Fearless likes to do those dives. I noticed that. Get a 50, but this could be bad. He gets bumped. That's so unlucky. I don't even think Rhylite saw him. It just ended up happening. <laughs> I should have just maybe went for the boost and ignored the ball. It wasn't the best touch for me to follow up. And I could have left the bounce as well. That might have been a better option. So, looks like they're both going for this. Fearless will have a double. That's okay. I'm reading this. Not the easiest shot to shoot. Oh, it bounces out. I'm going to try and stay with this. Close. Not my best approach. Should be across to the point where you can't shoot. It's fine. Let him just go for the shot. There it is. 
already know he's going to try and bump me or something on the way out. So I'm just going to try and stay awkward here. Okay. I don't think he's got enough boost to really follow this fully across. Yeah. The Riley jumps. Let's force him into the corner, and, and Rylight's going to be very low. I like the micromanage. Right now, I'm, I'm seeing Rylight go for the uh, the back corner boost. I didn't expect Fearless to go for that, though. I should, considering how he's playing. Okay. Good control. Should be good. It's going to be awkward off the corner. So I'm just faking players out to try and uh, stay in a spot where it's advantageous for us. 1150 back to my teammate. That does go back pretty far, and Fearless is jumping for this. I do beat them. You missed. No way it's going to be a goal for them. Oh my goodness. I think AJ was completely starved, so he couldn't follow it. I want to see this back. He got bumped again. It's it's one of those things where I can't tell he's bumped, right? Because I'm not in comms with him, so I have no idea that's happening. Because in my, in my internal timing after playing this game for so many hours, like I'm like, how... How is that not a goal? This should, this should be a goal, though. Yeah, nice. I think I, after playing this game for so many hours, I get a pretty good rhythm in my head. It is kind of like a rhythm thing where I kind of know what will and will come of things, which is why you have like high-level players predicting plays so ahead of time because they've seen it play out the same way so many times. Oh. Right, early play. I'm just going to go back here. I think AJ needs boost, so he's going to go for one of these boosts. Pop it up to the other side. I'm trying to play it away from where they... Oh, my gosh. Where they already are. You just throw it away. This is actually an awkward ball for me. <gasps> oh, AJ was sideways. Oh, it's okay. No worries. I didn't expect them to be sideways there. I thought he was facing like towards the play, but he was actually facing forwards. So he couldn't really turn his car fast enough to play that ball. This might be tough to win here. I'm going to let AJ get the boost. I'm trying to get this boost from uh, the other player. There we go. He does go for it. Fearless likes to play like, really annoying and just really aggressive like this. But a lot of the times it actually like backfires for him. Same with this touch from Riley. It's just going to give it right to me. Except for the fact that Fearless is right there. Should be all right. It's no longer all right. They're just being annoying and... Trying to stay aggressive. Hopefully that's in. I don't think it's going to be, though, because he's going to have a touch. He does block it. Hopefully that rolls past. Nice save. See how, see how what I'm talking about? He just likes to play annoying. It's it's not really like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a block. I can't get there, though. No! Ah, oh, it sucks. Yeah, that's, that is an annoying duo to play, I'm not going to lie. In twos, like, this is like the kind of play style that I don't like playing against, obviously, because it's just like, very sporadic and random. But they played well to like stop us from making anything go down the field. A couple things going right our way, and it will not work out for them. That's the risk of the way they play. It is a very risky play style. It doesn't work in threes as much. It works much more in twos, because you don't have that extra third player to sort of back up that rotation. Let's get into the next game, because the other two were a little bit quick, and see how it goes. Speaking of annoying duos, here's a, here's a duo for you. Uh, Beast of Onium and Delta are, like, they've played duos together for probably, like, six years. I don't even know. Like, they've been playing for a long time. So, it it is, uh, they, they have a very good chemistry together. And they just like to be very, very aggressive. Beast of Onium likes to go for, like, crazy bumps and stuff. Um, in, in certain situations. And Delta's very, very consistent. I do respect this duo quite a bit. They, they know how to play twos to a T. So, we'll have to, uh, bring our A game. That, that first goal will definitely, like... Give us some comfort because if they get a lead too they they tend to uh be very okay well never mind we'll keep our lead even further <laughs> if they get a lead they, they they lock down on defense i find there's like a certain play style that people like to take when they're in twos with a lead and they play it very very well sort of where you just let them overcommit and go for a lot of um oh i'm gonna have to play this a little bit carefully here i'm hoping for my teammate to back me up here That's actually a really good play from Delta because he gets a boost as well. I'll go off the ceiling here. Ooh, not good. But it is flippy set off the backboard. I don't know, actually just force him to go early. 
Wow, what a bump. Good boom as well. I'm going to try and get Delta on his turn here. Oh, AJ went for it, though. I got to be careful of the bump. There's the bumps I'm talking about. There we go. Trying to delay my touch here. Oh, I hit it backwards, though. It's fine. Should be a follow-up. Off the side wall. Delta goes for this. This is booming back. Beast Monium hits it forward. And I have control of this off the ceiling. It does hit the ceiling a little early, though. Accidental double from Beast Monium works out for us. Now Delta is going to try and follow us off the side wall. So I'm just going to wait for it. And now I have space in possession. Big flick. Hit that up to him. Hopefully that's a backward play. I didn't land properly, unfortunately. This should be agent for the back corner. I'm going to leave that back right up, though. Just in case we need to recover off of defense. Looks like we won't have to. Uh-oh. AJ did go for that. I tried to go for the bump, but it's a little bit of an aggressive play when we don't need a goal uh, for both of, us, both of us to jump. I should have just not gone for the bump play after the pop and just gone for a solo pop. I just like trying those because it's a little bit uh, cheeky. Delta just waits. going to pop that across, and hopefully the back, back left is still open, which it is. Delta doesn't make the best touch. It's a random, but not the best touch for me to follow it up. Over him might be open. I don't think AJ was ready for it. It was quite open, but he didn't expect him to be the first or me to be the first player there. Follow up. Should just wait for this. Nothing too threatening coming out of, out of these touches. And now I have space in the corner. I should be able to get a couple pads in mid. Wow, early pop. I don't think you can shoot this, though. AJ does back off. Wow, they missed. Okay. A little scary. It's quite annoying. I'm not going to recover too fast on this. He does throw the ball pretty far away, though. He rushes this. Oh, no. No, it's okay. It's, it's no problem. I, I probably should have been there. I saw him cut in front of me. I thought he was going to go, and then I waited a little too long. I probably could have also just challenged early. I think that's what uh, AJ wanted to do. Might bounce up mid for him. Goes back to Delta. Let's get the demo. It's not in. It's also not in. A pop forward. Get this around him. Just be annoying. Get around him here. Maybe another touch. He just waits. I should not have done that. I thought he was going to rush like he usually does. It was really smart of him to wait. Around him. Get back to AJ. That's not a great touch. This could be dangerous. I might miss too. Yeah, it's tough. I'm pretty low here. And hope for like two pads and a, and a pop forward. Let's get it over Delta's head. Ooh, we can't follow it though. It's too awkward of a touch. He's off the wall. He's probably probably won't turn on this until he needs to. Should be him first. Is he? He's back, I think, hopefully. No, it's in our net. Oh, man, that sucks. That pop, I probably shouldn't have went for the 50 at that point. Just let him touch it. Because the pop actually from that 50 went over AJ's head. But let's try to get a quick one here. Good try. See if he can get another touch. Should be back. That boost will spawn for him. He does go for the pinch. Wow, what a pinch. Wait, I don't know where AJ is, though. Where is he? There he is. Okay, this is good. No, they cut it off. That's annoying. It is what it is. Good game, though.